Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I am Joe Atige coming to you on a second straight day. Lucky you, vol traders. Uh, we're watching today. The market is essentially flat. We got the VIX coming in again. It's down to 22 and a half. Uh, the front month future is coming right along with it at 22 and a half. That VIX is telling a lot of movement for that front front month future. We're seeing it today, of course. Uh, we've been seeing it as the market continues to kind of grind along. We're closing in on that all-time high, 28.24 in the S&P. 500. So uh, we're, we're, on, we're on track for it and the market just seems to want to trend higher. Now, there is, of course, some potential speed bumps in its way. Uh, we got some Fed speak coming out later today. It seems like interest rates are on their way up a little bit as people are pricing in some inflation. Now, is how's the Fed going to manage that? They want to say they're going to allow inflation to happen. The bond market isn't buying it. Uh, or maybe the bond market saying inflation is hotter than the Fed is uh, willing to accept right now. We'll see how that all plays out. But remember, there's a lot more going on, and it takes some time sometimes for all these macroeconomic uh, problems or, or factors to filter through the system. And I keep on parping back to inflation's two biggest uh, factors are wages and uh, housing prices. Now, if we have this uh, high unemployment, that's going to keep some pressure on wages. And if we have uh, a lot of real estate in a lot of cities, which uh, aren't uh, so hot right now, um, maybe that'll keep some pressure on uh, rent and housing prices. So we'll see how that plays out. It might take some time to filter through the system, like I said. And on top of that, uh, we also have the dollar, which has been weak lately, which is a is a wild card to this whole mix. Okay. Now, another thing I harp back to when I'm talking volatility, yes, the VIX is in this range, 20 on the bottom, on the low end of the range, 25 on the high end of the range. It has spiked up just briefly above that a couple of times, but we're pretty tightly bound in this range and I'm waiting, waiting to be breaking out of it. Uh, it has been a February uh, occurrence lately where February is that month. I'm watching the skew like you know. Uh, I had it dipped down to the low 130s. Now it's back up to 140 almost yesterday. So if we see that 150 number, I would uh, be a, a little bit of a red flag for me, especially looking at the market at all-time highs. For Equity Armor Investments, I am Joe Teague.